Good morning everyone, uh, welcome back to our channel, the Asian Mechanic Guy and for today uh, we are going to uh, show you how to use this uh, Picoscope 2000 series 2204A and how to uh, use it use it in diagnosing a camshaft uh, position sensor and we are so lucky for today because this uh, 2001 uh, Volkswagen Cabrio with a 2.0 uh, liters engine it has a camshaft uh, position sensor uh, code and they already replaced the uh, camshaft uh, position sensor we get a brand new uh, camshaft position sensor in this car actually it's uh, assembly the bought the whole uh, distributor and I can show you the old one hold on So this is the old distributor and this is your capture position sensor so it's connected on the uh, distributor that's why they bought a brand new one so this is the old one we also gonna check this one if this is really a bad uh, uh, distributor or it has a bad uh, capture position sensor so but before we start I'll just gonna show you the because there's like a three connection in here i'm just gonna go in my pro demand i'm gonna show you uh which is which what wire is going to the ecm which one is your ground and which one is your power feed so let's go on our pro demand right there all right so we are here in our pro demand 2001 volkswagen cabrio 2.0 liters engine so this is your harness side back probing so one is your ICM ground two is your ICM control and three is your ignition so forget about this forget about this let's focus on the uh, center so this is where the signal goes so let's focus into this so let's go on to the car and hook up our picoscope right so this is your picoscope that's the connection right here the black one then it will become two one the smaller wire goes onto your negative and then the thick wire the red wire goes onto the middle right here I think this is white green so I'll hook up on the middle so let's right now our picoscope is zero so let's turn on the key let's turn on the key so we turn on the key and we got I think this is 10 volts so we got 10 volts so meaning this is the hold on let me uh, unhook the connector unhook or disconnected so we still we got 10 10 volts then put back okay so let's go try on 50 milliseconds so we should see a square wave if this uh, capture position is good we should see a good square wave from uh, 10 volts pull down going to zero and then going up again like that so let's crank the car
Alright. So stop. Let's go back. Let's check if we do a square wave. Oh yeah. There is. We do have a square wave right there. Nice one. You know what? Let me just put this one over here. Then probably let's go. Hundred. Let's try hundred. Okay. Let's crank it again. Stop. <coughs> Go back. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the square wave. So ten bolts coming from this uh, pull pull down design. This coming from your ECM. And then as the um, distributor rotates, it pull down to zero. There you go. Nice. All right. <laughs> so that's it. Of course, that's brand new. So it's working. So we did see a good square wave. This is it's working. Now let's try the old one. All right. So we disconnect the connector and we connect it to the old one then red leads on the middle we got, we got also this negative zero and then positive so we are on the right uh, wire so that's the signal wire so what we are going to do is the old one by the way so we just wanna see if we had a you know a square wave so we're just gonna rotate this manually and we should see a square wave on the picoscope if this one is working properly. Okay, now I'm gonna rotate it. If this is a good uh, camshaft position sensor, we should see a square wave. Oh, there you go. This has been a better, you know, square wave. Look at. 10 bolts pull down so this is a pull down design look at that nice nice square wave so let's do it slowly oh look at if you rotate it slowly look at the ground it has it's wider but if you rotate it faster then you can say become skinnier but the square wave still there so this uh, old one is still good but unfortunately, they replace it because they don't have picoscope. This is the importance of having a picoscope. Because that way, you can eliminate which one is not working and which one is working. And for this uh, distributor, this one is perfectly working. Look at that. But still, you know, they replace it by a brand new one, which is expensive it's not cheap so anyway this is just a, a video of how to use my you know my picoscope with regard with the camshaft position sensor uh, series square wave by the way this is a pull down design again so the ECM gives 10 volts to that uh, signal wire and then as we rotate this distributor it will pull down to zero and it create a square wave and just wanna show you how I do it so I just do like that and then as I do like that you can see a square wave right there let it go 
rotate it again. <laughs> so this one is good. Even it's an old one. Actually it has even better square wave than the new one. But look at this. They replace everything. Distributor, a spark plug wire, spark plug, and then the uh, ignition coil. Alright, so that's it. I just did show you how to use your Picoscope 2000 series 2204A and how to diagnosing a camshaft uh, position sensor signal. So if you had any question about this uh, video, uh, please comment down below and consider like and subscribe my channel too. That's all for today and see you on my next video. Bye-bye.